Sound check, sound check, sound check. What it is with the Dorsha Boy, JSQ Reacts back with another banger. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. Shout out to everybody coming back to show love to the channel. I appreciate y'all for being here. Welcome to another reaction. Today, we got the world's most famous scam. I know I'm probably like four months late. I've been hearing this dude's name, Punch Made Dev Scam. I've just been hearing that, though, that name with that title for the last like four months. I'm finally getting around to reacting to it. Right now, we got Tommy G interviewing the world's most famous scammer, scam low, whatever. Before we get into this video, you already know the vibes. Go to 10K subscribers. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Come part of this family. Also, make sure y'all hit that bell so y'all know every single time I post a fire reaction just like this one, all right? Also, make sure y'all leaving a like. Obviously, y'all know the like gonna help me get in the algorithm, get me upstairs with the big boys. See y'all soon. Shout out to everybody leaving donations. I appreciate the cash apps, the PayPal's. As you can see, they go towards the studio, helping me give you guys better quality content at the end of the day, all right? Y'all know what time it is. So without further ado, I ain't gonna talk y'all head off too much. Let's get straight into the video. J Ski Reacts, day one. Yeah, gang, ski gang, let's get it in. Uh. I'm Tommy G. Today we're diving into the world of scamming. Everything you're about to see is purely reenactment and for educational purposes only, so you don't get scammed like people like this. What would you say if you met a scammer in real life? You gonna punch him? You gonna punch him? You won't win, shorty. Rum wig. They chains as debit cards, bro. <laughs> Yo. Famous scammers on the Hold on. Bro, look at this dude's chain, bro. He got a black box as a chain. Yo, <laughs> this shit is crazy. Y'all think that shit real or fake, y'all? Hit the comment section right now, Ski Gang. Let me know if that shit fake or real, bro. I ain't gonna lie, that shit lit. That shit is lit on some, like, ignorant nigga shit. That's lit. <laughs> That's a lit chain, I ain't gonna lie. Today we meet one of the most famous scammers on the internet, Punch Made Dead. He's made a name for himself as one of the biggest scam rappers on the internet with songs like How to Write a Dump and Punch Anthem. On his social media platforms, he flaunts an absurd amount of money and jewelry. Today, I ask him about the most common scams people are pulling right now so that we the people can better learn how to protect Crazy. ourselves from scammers. <laughs> the goal of this documentary is twofold. First, to be aware of how scammers operate, and second, to encourage viewers to be the hero and not the villain. Stop, get out, yo. Look at this dog. Make money, but it also can carry a heavy penalty of up to 20 years in prison. Koda, what, bro? What's good? What's up? Good boy. Get down, boy. Go play with your bone. Go get your bone. Go get your bone, bro. Get down. It's bugging out. The reenactments you're about to see are for educational purposes only. Be your discretion is advised. <laughs> I'm hitting banks, dropping checks, cooking clothes, and cracking cars. Oh, he's from Kentucky. Our job today is to explore the most common scams that are out there. See how we can protect. I'll probably scam too if I was from a, a shithole like Kentucky. I don't care. <laughs> Yo. The viewer from it. And also meet a guy that is a true internet phenomenon and character. No offense to all my people from Kentucky. I'm just playing, bro. Punch it's not a show. We're not taking any chances with this guy. We don't know how good of a scammer he is, but I'm putting my wallet with my credit cards in the glove box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. A character from GTA or something. So yeah, yo, that's too much. <clears throat> What's your social security number? I got yours. <laughs> How hard is it to scam somebody with uh, just their wallet? Bro, there's actually this device you can put it right up to your fucking like wallet. You got that chip on it? That's what we researched, and that's why we hit our yes. credit cards from you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yo, you gotta be a real demon, like an infamous dude, to have motherfuckers hide in their wallet when they come around you. Every time they come around you, they scared that they you gonna do them bad. Like, what type of friend is that, bro? Who needs enemies when you got friends like that, bro? That's crazy, son. 
<laughs> that shit got in my pocket like that. Or like, just like this on some shit. And you can just walk up to me and be like, my bad, bro. Oh, and then I don't got everything. Yes, I'm Tommy G now. <laughs> so you can steal what? My credit card, my debit card. Anything with a chip. Now picture this, you have my credit card and debit card. You just ran my account empty. Yeah. You feel bad? Nah. Bank's gonna give you the money back. You ever heard of like a TLO lookup? Like, bro, bro, this, this nigga like, said. Your social. Bro, this nigga just said, do you feel bad? Nah. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. Nigga is wildin', so like he just out here. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if this is real or fake. Everybody keep telling me it's real. Like this is a, he's like a real scam, nigga. Bro, I ain't gonna front. This is OD. I know, I, well, I knew stuff, right? I knew scammers, right? They're in jail now where they belong. Shame on you, right? But look, this nigga, he just walking around. He actually do look like a GTA character. Like, you know what I'm saying? He don't got no shame in his game at all. Like, he just gonna do what he wanna do regardless. But every day. I could probably find you real quick. No, 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 no. Ooh, you're 29, eh? It's a birthday? Yeah, criminal record. Yeah, I got arrested. Man, what for? I did a prank channel. I, I had a fake ball sack that I was had hanging out of my pants. Their old couple thought I was really showing them my ball sack. So yeah. it me for a decent exposure. So it registers. Bro, it's yeah. fake. <laughs> no, I'm not a registered sex <laughs> offender. <laughs> How do you describe yourself in the scamming world? I feel like the whole world's a scam, but they just look at me as a bad guy. If I take money from you, you're gonna get the money back. Nobody's gonna hurt. I mean, it would be fucked up if I sims walk in and just like posting like some crazy shit on your Instagram. Is that possible? Yes. Do you think you're a bad guy? <sighs> I feel like it's worse people. Robin Hood was well. Bro, that's so crazy, crazy, son. He said, do you feel like you a bad guy? Nah, I feel like it's worse people. Bro, imagine the psychology behind that, bro. Like, you gotta be a real fucked up individual. I ain't gonna front to be on some shit like this. Like, stealing people money, putting them through the inconvenience day after day after day. Mind you, multiple people a day, multiple people a day is eating shit because of you, bro. This is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. This is wild. Like, it's crazy how he's, his face is just out there. He just got his face out there. He don't care. You gave to the poor? Yeah. Do you view yourself as a modern day Robin Hood? Take from the rich and give to the poor. I really take from the poor and then the rich is me. What wallet do you recommend to people to protect? Oh, the nah. There is no wallet. Or if it was, I wouldn't tell nobody. Okay, so how can someone avoid that wallet scam? Use Apple Pay, I guess. So you don't carry a wallet? Yeah, don't carry a wallet. That's the only way to avoid it. Yeah. How much does this thing cost? That's crazy. $38,000. 38, Just for the pin. How can I tell this is real or fake? I'm gonna get a diamond system. We can go to the jewelry store. I'm not sure how legal this all is, but YouTube, this is educational purposes. I don't <laughs> Yo. This. Don't strike this. Don't eat. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. When you a YouTuber, you understand why his fear is real. Like, why he keeps saying that shit. Because I began, I'm, I, bro, I get strikes all the time over nonsense. Like, like, no, no, no nonsense. No bullshit. Like, I get copyright strikes for everything. I get shocking content. I get warnings every week. Like, every single time. I really, I really think I'm, like, blacklisted low key. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm dropping fire content. I'm, I'm a little, I'm consistent to a certain degree. And I'm dropping fire stuff. Like, people who hear me, they're like, yeah, this shit lit. I really think I'm banned, like, on some shadow ban shit. You know what I'm saying? But I understand why he doing that. You got to really put that disclaimer out there nowadays because YouTube, Google, they hitting you for anything. They hitting you for anything, bro. Restricted. Let me show the people what they need to see to protect themselves. So is there, like, an exit strategy in this game world? Because I feel like your, your clock's ticking. My clock's ticking. I mean, eventually, right? I mean, even Al Capone got, got you know? I'm not Al Capone, no. Punch me, dude. Undefeated. What's your guy just take on scamming? Like the, the government scamming. They doing billion-dollar scam. What's the little million and shit we take? What's that gonna hurt? All right, guys, let's hit the bank. No way, yeah, these niggas. Thinking. My bullshit. Bro, there's no way they actually out here acting this crazy, son. Telling on themselves like this. This is real, like, clout chasing shit, son. It's either that or he's just a marketing, like, genius, marketing god. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't just put this out there. Hey, I'm a scammer. Hey, I steal from people for a living. Come get me. Like, that's crazy, son. That's wild. Detector's going off a little bit. That's fake bling, I feel like. Facts. It had, like, that tin can rattle to it. Oh. I'm going to call Tracks NYC and see if he can tell us if Punch Made yeah. 7 is real or fake. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm about to film someone doing something sketchy at a bank, but I need, I'm trying to find out how I can tell if something's a fake diamond or not. We're with Punch Made Dev, and he has allegedly quarter million dollars of bling on his neck, and I want to call Tracks and see how we know if he's legit or not. 
Do you have any like photos of it you can just send me quickly before? Yeah. Send me the photos and then I'll do it. Cool, all right, sounds good. What the hell are you doing right now? I'm about to hit a wire. What does that mean? Log in and um, wire some money up. I'm just trying to learn how to scale. That's what Tommy's trying to no, do. No, the, the goal of this episode is to learn how no, we can protect the, the people at home from this type of tomfoolery. That, that, how much are you going to clean this guy out? If they'll give me 20, I'll do it. What's going to happen? You're going to walk in there, yeah. you're going to wire transfer money to yourself from someone else's account. How quick is all this going to happen? 10 minutes. Have you ever known someone? No that's been way. No, but I've almost been scammed myself. How did you almost get scammed? Well, I mean, people call you every day. Where's that? Yo. Tommy G got W cameraman, bro. Like, that's the cameraman of my dreams right there. Like, he catch it. He moving. Boom, boom, boom. Hit my comment section if y'all good cameraman, man. If y'all good with the videography. I need a cameraman for my vlogs and stuff like that. But I really want to keep doing reaction videos, but I feel like my real true... Like, my real true love is reactions. I ain't going to cap. But I really want to get into the vlog shit eventually. So I need a cameraman like that, that edits like that. So make sure y'all hit me. In the comment section, I'm looking for a videographer and a cameraman, man. Hit your boy up, man. Yesterday, you told me I had $2,500 worth of vacation points. And I've then, never signed up for anything. What should be the punishment for a scammer? There Probation? should definitely be a punishment. I don't know what the punishment should be. A Here. jury should determine that. Fair enough. <laughs> Welcome to America. You before. Yes. How did they do it? Oh, uh, my debit. And what happened to you when they tried to scam you? Uh, I just found a charge on my debit card that I didn't do. Knew uh, this was in Arizona. How much was it for? It wasn't a lot. It was only about eighty dollars. Did the bank? Damn, lucky you. Did. What should be the punishment for scammers? Damn, just eighty. I got yo. I got notifications that niggas in Atlanta they tried to hit my shit for seven fifty one time. Seven twenty five, seven fifty, a thousand, fifteen hundred. They be trying, but I lock my shit. My shit always locked. Unless I know I got a bill coming out, my account is always locked. So if anybody try to use it while I'm in the house, it's never gonna go down. Like, real shit. Sure. See, I got their balance right there, 430K. I'm gonna wire that to these accounts that I got money as well. I'm gonna try to just do a quick 10 real quick. Oh, how nice can you get everyone taking 10 racks instead of 20? 10,000. All right, let's do it. Can't make this shit up. Why do you think scammage becomes so popular? Like, what do you guys think when kids look up to you? It's actually pretty crazy. You don't want to work for 50 years to back broke, and now you can finally do what you want because you finally got some money. How long are you guys going to be in the game <laughs> Yo. before you're in I, I would be like prior 30 than the best. No, nah. Bro, no way, son. Free 10. Let me sniff it to make sure. Yeah, go ahead. What are you going to do with this $10,000? I might uh, give it back. What's the most amount of money you ever walked out of a bank? Nigga said I might give it back. How did that feel? Yo, good. That's amazing. I went about a chain with it. We're going to head to a gas station next and show you the he next said I went about a chain with it. He bugging. Yo, like I said, yo, this dude got to be a better marketer than Bandman Kevo, Kevin Samuels, fuck, Andrew Tate, you know what I'm saying? His level of marketing, if this is not fake, if this is, if this is real, then he's a fool. But if this is fake, then I think he's on par with like corporations, bro. <laughs> like it's bad marketing, but I, I feel like there's no such thing as bad exposure when you're an entertainer. Like, you just get what you get and people gonna follow you regardless. Like, this is crazy. I just got a message from Mickey. They're probably real. It might be more than a quarter million dollars. What? And um, on his Instagram, the one with all like the MasterCards, I think I saw like a different jeweler actually post them who made them like a while ago. So yeah, it's real. Sorry, Punch My Dad, we thought you were fake. You know who tracks NYC is? Yeah. I asked him if your shit was fake, guess what he said? He said it's real. Oh, well, he got me. <laughs> no, no, he said it's real, though. Yeah, I know. I'm saying he got my back, man, you know? Ain't no denying that. This is why I thought I was fake, with the clunking sound. Everything doesn't sound like that. don't sound like that. You need to be looking suspicious. I will admit that I was wrong, plus I know nothing about Blake. So we're getting into it. <laughs> plus I know nothing about Blake. <laughs> Yo, bro, white people is funny as hell, bro. Like, they, uh, naturally, it's like, they, whenever they get around, like, the hood shit, 
It's like they in the fucking forest, like the Amazon. You know what I'm saying? And they don't know what to do. They don't really be understanding the vibes of what's going on. This shit is hilarious, bro. This nigga Tommy G funny as hell. I'm gonna write up a dump, right? I'll get a track win, okay. uh, a 101 or a 201 win. So I get the information off my site. You can use the white blanks, but this one's better because they got a whole face. Like, this is the big boy win. The one right here, this is the Bluetooth one I got, but I couldn't bring it on the plane with me, so. How much does this cost? Can't be no more than like 100. And how much does this major? It's like over 500K. So if someone says they're a certified dumper, this is what they're talking about. They could either be the person giving the dumps with the skimmer, or they could be the person writing them up, using them. Say like, I know somebody working at McDonald's, right? I'll give them a skimmer and they work through the drive through Say somebody's buying something right now, right? They'll pay, right? And then my person will quickly go like this, swipe it on the up from my end, and that's when I get all the info. End of the day, I have like a list of like 20 of them. Better wipe this one empty, I'm gonna write up a dump letter for y'all. Is the FBI looking into you? Because how are you not in federal prison at this point? I know what I'm doing. You got a VPN, a proxy server, RDP. And the way someone. Bro, there's no is way. Hitting lock on their bank account, right? Yeah. There's no way. There's no fucking way, dude. How? He. Bro, they said. How don't the FBI, like, got you in custody, federal custody? I know what I'm doing. I got a VPN. There's no way this nigga's just done, bro. It's no way he's just retarded, son. You're saying this on camera, right? That's crazy. I hope this is a joke. I really do. I really hope this is a fucking joke, bro. Goes, you feel like your NBA level is a scammer? Oh, I'm, I'm like LeBron of the scammer. And my <laughs> I'm saying LeBron. LeBron. No, that's what I do crypto. All right, so now I got the numbers plugged in. I'm about to run this through. So now I just wrote somebody else's info right here. Bro, he's doing this shit on camera, bro. <clears throat> he's doing this shit on camera, bro. My other computer keep going off. God damn, I gotta turn these fucking monitors off. Damn, dog. He's doing this shit outside, bro. Wherever y'all went, everybody go get everything for free real quick. Are they gonna eat this cost or the bank eat this cost? The bank's over here. They really gonna. You're sure. For something small like this, that was a wire that would be like 10 to 14. So this is when you get a message on your phone. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, was this you and you yeah. say no and then they reimburse you? Give it back in like less than 24 hours. Tastes better, it feels better when it's free. Who <laughs> does it? I'm gonna spend my own hard That's money. That's crazy, they bro. They can spend the, the other guy's money. Has, but he's scared. He don't want to. He don't want to be a accomplice. In what way? How are they trying to do it? Oh, I got almost scammed on a. Bro, this dude don't want to be a accomplice. He making sure he said, "Yo, I'm gonna spend my own money. I'm not gonna spend that money." Straight up, I respect it. Everything online. You had to pay down payment for a puppy, and then there was no puppy. They were trying to with like fake pictures, and then I just canceled it because I said this feels like a scam. What do you think should happen to a scammer if they get caught? I mean, there should be some sort of legal repercussion. What do you think? It's tough to say. What would you say if you met a scammer in real life? I would punch him. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know why they're all here. That's why, bro. Bro, that's why they looking at it, bro. He's a scammer, bro. The next 24 hours, I'll be calling you guys for help, okay? Yeah, we got you back. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> uh, everything's free for everybody today. What? Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I, I think would I'm... love some. Yeah. Wait, I will write for you, please. Bro, look, she's using scammer money right now. Oh, my camera's dying. My, yo, my camera battery dying. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I love uh, man, you can put that up here. Everything's free today. Know, Nigga wildin'. Okay. <laughs> Nigga said everything <laughs> free today. Okay, who is he? Yo, bro, my camera dying, chat. My camera dying. Very caring. Also, he would describe himself as a rapper and a scammer. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's wild. Oh, goodness. Oh goodness. Doing good doing it, I guess. <laughs> that touched me. Hold on, let me go get a um... man, folks. The yin and yang of life, huh? We just went into a and he came out with ten thousand dollars cash. It works. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. It's funny how there are two things to see the scammers out there now. Watch out. Which I can see why. People are complicated, you know, people are very complicated. I heard the guy that's card that is was working hard. McDonald's for 10 hours for that money. Oh, yeah, he's working really good. <laughs> he's running his credit. Yo, I just had to yell, please work. <laughs> this is directly from his song. The clerk will let you swipe the car after you jam the tip. After it ain't working two times, she'll let you use the shirt. Is it 
Uh, no, I didn't cry. I never cried. <laughs> 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 son, this nigga's buying little girl stuff with it, son. Just jam the chip and make it, make it purposely decline. So, what you just did, you follow her step by step of your own instructions. Yes, song. How is an ordinary person stop that from happening? There's no way. If you lose your debit card, shut the bank off right away. Yeah, but it's not even you losing it, though. You'll just go, like, you'll go pay for it somewhere, or I'll have somebody at an inside, like a McDonald's, and they'll swipe that through, and then card info is mine. So, the next scam we're going to go into is the skimmer. They'll put a skimmer on top of this. I mean, a skimmer on top of this. It's mainly the one in the store, too. Like the one that I just used, they'll have another, like, it's quick. Like, somebody will pull up and just clap it on quick, and you won't even know. So, would you know if you walked up to a one with a skimmer, would you know? Yeah, I would know. So, you can tell. Yeah. Where's the next power flowing up to? We can push that piece in. Guys, okay, what's going through your head right now? We've seen a few Bro, scams. that's crazy. Pretty much step by step, like you described in the song. Just make it to clock. That's crazy. My girl just got a, like a one hundred and twenty-five dollar charge on her debit card by trying to fill up her gas tank, bro. This is not cap, son. There's no way he knows all of this, and he's faking it, bro. He has to be in the game for real to know all of this shit. He got to be like a specialist at it. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like your nigga went to school for it, real. To be real, you know what I'm saying? This shit crazy. Twice and then swipe it. He literally did his own playbook in front of him. But yo. Chat, I ain't gonna lie, my camera about to die. I put the wrong battery in there. I gotta put the dummy battery in there. It's literally on like 1%. I don't know when it's gonna turn off, but if the video end, I appreciate y'all. We still got eight minutes left. I promise to get y'all the rest of this video. But like I said, if, they, if, it, if it just end like that, it just end like that. I'm trying to give y'all the whole video as much as I can before the battery dies. So shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all for sticking around still, whoever's still here watching at this time, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy how easy it is. It doesn't feel as bad when that you're not easy. banks. Like if I knew that he was causing people to get evicted or not be able to pay rent or not be able to afford their kids, I'd be really pissed and want to strangle him. But I don't, I'm not as angry that he's scamming a bank. I feel like everybody's got to foot the cost eventually. So like, I feel like that's just getting passed on to the, the consumer. It's kind of like the hood Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the hood Mr. Beast. I love that, the hood Mr. Beast. Punch made that. Everybody listen up, it's a punch lesson. Go and get a fire car to sight. go to the dump section. Never get a... How many pizzas have you punched from this place? Domino's are really my first choice, but... You're gonna steal a pizza, I feel like. This is like the, the sea level place to steal from. <laughs> yeah. I'm about to call them, I'm about to uh, order like six, seven pizzas, and then they're gonna ask for the car details over the phone and we we'll give it to them. You just give someone else's car. Yeah. Uh, Pick up. Can I Can I get a large cheese pizza? One right mouth, or maybe some sausage uh, pizza? <laughs> One large pepperoni, one large sausage, <laughs> one large sausage, so... Damn. Yeah, so I could punch it? Yes. Yeah. So you punch the pizza? Yeah. Punch the cup of pizza. How can Domino's protect themselves from people like you? But they can't. They just gotta help people like me don't want to eat there. Should we do an ace <laughs> <and pick laughs> No, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is not... Nah, nah, nah. He's bugging. He wildin'. He is fucking wildin', son. I'm gonna show you how to use a clone card real quick. Easy money, man. I feel like I know what he looked like already. Like, <laughs> the shicey don't really work for him. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I still see his whole face, like... Damn, what was that? Six bands or like six magic? Hours? All right, so what the hell just happened? He just pieced up a chip, took it into the ATM, cleared that. I had my runner going there, cleared it up well. When we pull up in a ski mask to a bank, do you think that sets off any alarms? Yeah, but. It's too late by the time we leave. Did you notice the two Lexington police officers yeah, in a nearby parking lot? On the street, yeah, I've seen them, yeah. They be there all the time. You just gotta know your area. The theme I'm getting with all these scams is the Yo, only way to stop it ass. is just don't let your stuff get stolen. Yeah. If you lose your car, you tell the bank to lock it, and the bank will reimburse you if someone like you strikes. Yeah, someone like you strike. He, goes to wire out yo, out of your bank. he really emphasizing that shit. If the bank will protect you if someone like you strikes. I'm weak, but... Uh, the government, they only uh, protect up to 250000 FDIC insured yeah. up to two hundred fifty k. If it's no more than two hundred fifty k, you're good. People that are watching this and say, punch no, me no, down no. is a piece of shit. What do you say to them? I say, f*** you. I'll probably scam you or I will. So, what are the consequences <laughs> for Yo, no. What are the penalties? This nigga, nah. He got what you consider, which we call the God complex. Like, this nigga, he think he's like the master of the universe, bro. He said, fuck you. We probably scammed you, and if we ain't, we will soon. That's crazy disrespectful, son. Man, consider it. <laughs> yeah, they're thinking crazy, son. 
Yo, if he if this is not if this is fake, bro, he's a real like entertainer. You know what I'm saying? I hope this is fake, so but it's it give you a little more spice knowing that it's real. You know what I'm saying? This is funny as hell. Case for this. It could be a whole bunch of factors. A wire fry is already going. I mean, you can do it to like 20 plus years. Wire fry is a federal case, right? Yeah. So how are you not scared to let us into your world today? I know what I'm doing. Does anyone in your crew have a normal job? No. None of you guys do nine to fives? Yeah, no. Why would they? It's free money. No. I mean, you gotta have a way to cover it up, you know? Some of us do videos, some of us rap, some of us sell clothes. Is this your dream job? This is my dream job. <laughs> You're gonna be a grandpa scamming people? Bro, this nigga said that this scamming is his dream job, son. How is this your dream job, son? I can't do it. Could y'all, yo, tell me in the comments, could y'all do it? Could y'all look over y'all shoulder for your for, for your whole life? Like knowing the Fed just coming down, eventually they're gonna come down. 20 years is crazy. I'm not doing 20 years for nobody. Not for my girl, not for my kid, not for my mom, not for my pops, nobody. Nobody. This is wild, son. He's funny. I'm really 70 years old, still working in the bank. When your kids get old enough to see what you've done on the internet, what do you think you're going to tell your kids? I'm going to tell them life isn't supposed to be taken so seriously, so just enjoy it and have fun. If you wanted to buy a home or That's a property tell us with kids. this money, you think you could do that? No, I have a home. I have a home. Yeah, I got a, a big-ass crib, movie theater, everything in there. I got more floors, five bedrooms upstairs. I got two bedrooms downstairs, a gym, movie theater upstairs. A, a gym? You can see my... Nigga, right here a little bit. Nigga, you got a gym, use it. Nigga, you got a full gym in your crib, use the gym. Still like a slim gym, boy. Nigga, man, skinny, son. Use the gym, bro. Yeah, the closet you recently came out of? Nah, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> 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 Hashtag Pride Mon. Our pizza's probably ready. It's time to get our pizzas. Sorry, Domino's. Yo. How are people scabbing their way into pizzas? How do they do that? They lie. They lie about it. How can Domino protect itself against scammers? We put their number in the system walk them. It's a good thing I got multiple numbers. That's how you put it. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Sorry, Domino's. It's this guy. Free. Bro, this nigga is scamming people, and while he's scamming them inside their like, place of business, he's like talking about it and asking questions <laughs> Yo, at the people getting scammed. Like, son, he ain't got no shame, son. And look at this dude, he got the fucking, he got the, um, the tattoo of the dude, Anonymous, bro. Nah, he's crazy. What percent of your food you guys actually pay for? Maybe five percent. If you guys did this to a mom and pop shop, would you feel bad? Nah. Hell no. How old are you, Dad? Below 25. How old were you when you first started doing this? Like below 25. 15. What was the first scam you ever pulled? It was like e horn. I would get like a pictures of like a, a girl I knew or somebody on the internet that looked like a regular girl though. You don't want to get like fucking Ruby Rose or oh, something like that. Yeah, e horn. Post it all on Tinder, all them dating apps. And I'd be like, add me on Snap, but I'll sell like a premium and shit like that. That shit was ass though. Like just texting like niggas all day. I ain't like doing that. That probably Yo. takes forever. Yeah, it was slower too. Do you impersonate a decently hot chick mm -hmm. pretending to send exclusive? Bro, I'm weak, bro. E horn is a real thing. Like, I used to get mad messages from, from, like, random bitches, like, yo, buy my premium. I'm like, bro, who the fuck is you, bitch? Who the fuck is you? I don't want to buy that stink pussy. You got the, I see you just had the kid. You got the scars still. It's hanging. Saggy titty. Like, nigga, chill out. I don't want to buy that nasty shit. Come to find out, it's him. You know what I'm saying? It's Punch Made Dev. Nasty work. To thirsty guys out there. And I'll do meetups too. I'll be like uh, 300 for a meetup. And people will literally drive like three or four hours away. Oh. But he wants me to tell him what car he's in so he knows like I'm actually there to female. So he pulled up to the fucking uh, cul de sac. He was like, he was in a white bin. So I was like, I see you in the white bin. He was like, can I just come in and then pay you after? I was like, no, nah, I'll send the money up front. It's like late at night too. And then uh, he sent it. And I told him I didn't get it. I told him send it again. He sent it again. He was like, this is my last. I'm literally going negative and I won't have any gas to get home. I swear to God. And then uh, he sent that. And you I, didn't feel bad at this point? No, nah, I, I rolled up the window and I yelled, it's the fucking police. And then he drove off. <laughs> he was down to his last wall driving a Benz? Yeah. So what do you think about some people's Bro. financial priorities? Like, I feel like some people just... Yeah. <laughs> nah, peeps. yo, I'm telling y'all, peeps. dudes be going out fucking sad, bro. Dudes be going out so sad, bro, especially with this prostitution shit popping right now. Every girl slut. This shit is crazy, son. Like, how you going out this bad, yo? 
This shit crazy, son. Literally. <laughs> what the hell is this? We got to Yeah, the bird's not a Yeah, I'm just beating the animals. How much you think this bird cost? That was 16. Punch made literally. $1,000 a year from Johnny. Okay, so we're here at the Airbnb you have for the day. You're going to show us the last scam of the day. A big wave right now is cash out. This one's going crazy. 255 dollars What? So 55000 Literally that simple. And how did you do that? Gotta pay for the size, man, but and I can cash that out. Alright, I don't really know what just happened. <laughs> this is what I do oh, know. Nah. I just gave you a how-to video, how to avoid getting scammed, yeah, right? Yeah, avoid getting scammed, educate your purposes. I encourage everybody to make money in a legitimate fashion, in a way that you can look yourself yourself in the mirror, be proud of what you're doing. So folks, we just looked into the, the life of the internet's most famous scammer, Punch Made Dev. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs> yeah, this nigga funny. Yo, I hope this is fake, dude. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, that's the end of the video. I really hope this dude is, is like not serious because if he is, he's going to jail. For sure he's going to jail, right? But if this is fake, I think this is gonna be the best marketing like scheme in a minute, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't seen something this wavy in, in, in a long time. So entertaining, funny. You know what I mean? He got the chains, all that shit. This shit is funny, I ain't gonna lie. That's the end of the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Make sure y'all hit that like button. If you're not a part of this family, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you know whenever I post some fire shit just like this one. So yeah, see you on the next video. Yeah, gang, day one, ski gang. Peace. Ugh.